I guess one of the emerging fields of disease diagnostic is using DNA microarrays or any any bio bio micro um, bi microarrays with biomolecules on it. But particularly, DNA microarrays are really interesting because. Um, as opposed to protein, DNA is a very robust, and like once you have the DNA, it's it stays there, and it's very specific to, it specifically binds to its complementary strands, so it's very site specific. So it's like a key. Yes. It, we, we're going to put down a certain lock, and there's yes. only one key that yes. will go to it. Okay. Yes. And so, for in terms of disease diagnostic, let's say we have a cancer patient, and we want to know. We have a potential cancer patient, and we're not sure if this person has cancer or not. And one of the ways to um, recognize if the patient has cancer is to see um, to see cer certain certain to see if the, pens, uh, the patient has certain proteins expressed in their cells, mm. and we can measure what kind of proteins are expressed in this person's um, cell by looking at their uh, mRNA, am I going too far? Messenger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. messenger RNA um, component. So the easiest thing is to just extract some cells, take some sample, and lice, open up the cell, and, and so all the components inside the cell will be in this like big goo. And we ex um, purify, we take away all the gunk, and extract the messenger RNA and throw it onto a, a DNA microarray. And we can throw, um, th the mRNA that we throw, on, throw it onto will be labeled with the fluorescent tag, maybe like a red uh, label. And we have another sample, a standard, uh, a po negative control, let's say, um, it's from a healthy patient that's labeled green. And we throw both of them onto the same chip. And we can measure the difference between how much red is expressed as opposed to how much green is expressed. And we can compare if this patient actually is expressing different types of proteins uh, compared to the, the healthy person. So in, in one pass with this array of keys and locks, depending on which ones are, sh are shining red or green, we can tell kind of the chemical signature that the patient has. Yes. And knowing that cancer patients have a certain kind of signature, we could warn them, you're in trouble or you're yes. healthy and so forth. And then, like, like we have, if we have certain indication that this, pa this patient has, like, strong indication of cancer, then we can tell the patient to go into biopsy and, like, much uh, a strenuous, um, I guess, diagnostic 